Hey everybody, um, just wanted to do a quick update. Um, we've been really busy the last two weeks. We ended up having to do um, a project out of town um, for one of Dan's customers. So last week, him and I were gone out of town for about three days and um, my parents watched the kids. Um, so we were gone last week, and it's funny because um, I've heard a farmer say before, you never go on vacation when you're a farmer because, um, you know, it's to try and get someone to watch the animals and everything and take care of the farm while you're gone is a hard thing to do. <laughs> and we don't even have that many animals. Sorry, the punkies are ridiculous uh, the last couple of days. So... Um, we had someone come stay at the cabin, take care of the dog and the cat and the chicks and the rooster and everything. Um, so while we were gone and, um, then this week, um, so being out there was kind of rough on my body, but we got a lot done. Um, and this week he had to go back for a couple of days to finish it. So, We've been way off schedule and so hard to remember what day's what. And we've just been here, there, and everywhere. Um, we've had a lot of doctor's appointments lately for the kids and I. Um, we got some of Creed's test results back for his TAVS testing. And he's got um, some major auditory issues, um, auditory processing, uh, temporal processing, and I believe some visual problems. So, um, we are going to be starting his two programs, uh, May 8th. Um, we got to try and get him into some specialists to figure out the cause of some of the hearing loss and stuff that he has. So it's nice to have some answers. Um, it's still always kind of weird because you go through like this, uh, sad grief almost, um, finding out that your kid's been struggling for several years. Um, but we're relieved to have some answers. Oh my goodness, these bugs. Um, relieved to have some answers, a uh, direction and where to go from here and everything, get them some help. So that's going to be a huge undertaking. The program lasts about six weeks. Um, it's very, very expensive. A couple, about a month ago, I asked you guys to please pray, uh, for a program that they were raffling off a spot in the program um and creed won the spot in the program which was a huge answer to prayer because it's uh several thousand dollars um for the equipment and everything else um so it's all free and that was just like just such a huge answer to prayer i never win anything we never win anything um, so, I mean, I really believe that was God answering prayer, knowing that he needed help and, um, make it affordable for us. <laughs> if it's free, it's affordable, <laughs> but it takes a lot of work, a lot of commitment. It's like I said, it lasts six months. It's five days a week. Uh, you can miss maybe like one day, but you can't like go on vacations and miss a lot of time. Um, so five days a week. It's, um, the f one program is two 15 minute sessions a day. Um, the other one I think is like a total of 45 minutes a day, um, two sessions or something like that. So we got the equipment in today. Um, they have like a lending library. So I have to go through that tonight. I have a conference call next week. She's going to explain the scheduling and all the equipment and everything. So... Um, between that and the work and everything and trying to find a new truck since our truck is just needs to go um, we've really been like our heads have been spinning it's been so busy um, and the chickens are getting older so we're getting pressed for time to do a coop so it wasn't on our list today but we started our coop over there right there uh, we got most of the framing um, and everything. So we just got to finish that up. Hopefully tomorrow, um, get the chickens in there. I really wanted to do a video of the whole process of the coop, but like I said, I mean, we're just so tired, <laughs> so tired and so stressed 
between finances and juggling broken down vehicles and finances for new vehicles and everything else and dealing with Creed and all of that and still giving Sayla enough attention and everything um, and my own health struggles and, you know, Dan struggles with stuff too. So it's been busy, but, um, we used a lot of really, um, a lot of free lumber. There was a woman who sold her, um, estate last year. She had a huge farm and she offered us whatever lumber we wanted from the barn. Go ahead and take. So we dug out a lot of rough cut lumber, um, which was a huge blessing because we knew we'd end up needing to build a coop, a new outhouse, and a barn, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so all that free lumber has just been a blessing. The Lord has provided immensely, um, you know, between free stainless steel sinks that were given to us, and subfloor, and um, I don't even know what it's called anymore. I don't know. Um, all the free lumber and a free outdoor shower unit thing, um, deck planks, a sh you know, storage shed. They provided, God provided a grill and, um, I mean, so many things he's provided. So he's taking care of us. It's still, it's definitely a stretch of faith. Um, so it's neat to see him provide it doesn't mean we don't have to work our butts off still, <laughs> but it's wonderful to see God provide um, the certain people that he's placed in our lives that have been help and encouragement, um, especially, you know, even the ladies, you know, from church and stuff. Um, and my mom have been just so encouraging with this whole thing with Creed, you know, it breaks your mama's heart to see your child struggle for several years and know that there's something going on but not knowing what or where to start or where to get help um and to have answers and to keep at it and people just be like you got this it's going to be an adjustment but you know you'll do what you need to do for your child and you'll make it work and um so i'm all organized with all his stuff um we're ready to start on may 8th um <clears throat> so that's what we've been doing like I said I wanted to do a more in-depth video on the coop but we're just exhausted tonight so I'll probably do it tomorrow um, but we used a lot of the free rough cut lumber that we had in storage um, and we I didn't like any of the coop plans that were online they were impractical to me they didn't make sense. I've had chickens for a couple years now. We've had several different coops. So I knew what I wanted in my head, how I wanted it laid out, and I couldn't find anything to match that. Um, so we just kind of went for it, <laughs> and it's turning out really well. Um, so, of course, Dan does an amazing job. Um, so we did that today, about three hours to get all the framing and everything done. <laughs> so that's that that's what we've been up to um tomorrow's saturday i was thinking it was tuesday i don't know where wednesday and thursday went but they're gone <laughs> and tomorrow's saturday um so we have men's and ladies bible study breakfast in the morning so we will probably do that and then church on sunday I am so tired, so tired, but, um, yes, we love you guys, uh, we hope you, uh, stick with us, I know sometimes there's kind of a bit of a lag in between the videos, um, but it's just so busy here, so I will try to make it a point tomorrow to do an update video on the chicks and what we feed them and how they're growing, um, and the chicken coop, more details and all that sort of stuff. So we love you guys. Bye.